Hello, I'm Dr. Prem Shekhar, an interventional pediatric cardiologist uh, in uh, Chennai in India. And uh, through this uh, short video, I'm happy to uh, shed some light on some frequently asked questions on congenital heart disease, especially during this week on uh, congenital heart disease awareness. Uh, congenital heart disease are basically birth defects of the heart and uh, these can be either simple or complex. Uh, when simple, what I mean is that they are isolated problems, a single problem like a hole in the heart or a single valve in the heart which is affected. Uh, when complex, uh, it means that there are multiple problems within the heart. As you are aware, there are four chambers of the heart, four valves in the heart and two tubes that take blood out of the heart. And uh, in complex lesions, uh, it may be a combination of uh, defects like uh, underdevelopment of one of these chambers or underdevelopment of one of these uh, two tubes that take blood out of the heart or uh, with an associated uh, hole. And uh, these can cause mixing of uh, pure and impure blood resulting in uh, the baby looking bluish when born. And uh, these complex conditions are commonly termed as blue baby uh, syndrome. Uh, now, uh, it's uh, very important to understand for the parents of children diagnosed with congenital heart disease that uh, over the last uh, 40 years, um, the, the field of pediatric cardiology has evolved tremendously uh, with the result that uh, even the most complex of the complex heart disease uh, can be palliated uh, to such an extent that uh, the child can lead a very good quality of life and can grow up um, to be able to play, go to school and uh, uh, even get married and have pregnant, successful pregnancies. And uh, uh, in the last uh, 20 years that I've been practicing in India, I can say with confidence that uh, the uh, quality of uh, pediatric cardiac care in India is on par with those uh, provided in the world elsewhere, uh, uh, if not better. Uh, now, it's um, important for uh, parents to recognize the symptoms of congenital heart disease uh, early uh, because an early detection leads to an earlier management intervention to cure the problem. Uh, and uh, this would ensure that uh, the child could grow normally. Uh, sometimes if left undetected, uh, the uh, uh, heart problem can lead to irreversible damage in the lungs because the circulation in the heart and the lungs are very closely uh, related. So uh, if the lungs are damaged irreparably, then uh, the, the, the option of uh, uh, doing a surgical correction or intervention to the heart uh, 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 remains uh, a moot. Uh, so it's important for the parents to recognize these symptoms. Mostly these symptoms are during infancy, uh, very fast breathing or uh, uh, inability to uh, suck well while feeding and uh, also excessive uh, sweating on the head while feeding because of the increased work of breathing. And because of all these, the increased calorie being spent on the work of breathing, the child does not put on uh, weight sufficiently and therefore would be grossly underweight for its age. Uh, these are all uh, symptoms which are seen in infants. In older children, uh, sometimes uh, these uh, cardiac problems would result in the child getting tired easily during playing or it can sometimes cause uh, uh, what is called palpitations of sensation of uh, fast heartbeat uh, very occasionally even uh, giddiness and uh, uh, syncope. Uh, so uh, these are all symptoms which uh, should uh, make the parents aware one of the most common uh, symptom is repeated uh, lower respiratory tract infections, uh, repeated pneumonias which need hospitalization. Uh, so this is again a result of increased blood flow to the lungs. 
So these are all features which uh, the parents should be aware of and if they notice any of these should bring the child to their primary pediatrician who would then check and if there is suspicious that there is a cardiac problem would then refer to the pediatric cardiologist who is the specialist who takes care of uh, children with uh, heart disease. Uh, so for this reason to prevent uh, damage to the lungs it's very important and very crucial that uh, these conditions are detected early and uh, the intervention is done at uh, the appropriate time. Unfortunately, even to this day, uh, we do see some children who uh, have been left unattended either due to lack of awareness or uh, financial constraints and uh, these children come late when uh, no surgical option is feasible. And uh, this is very sad in this uh, day and age. And uh, so it's very important to raise awareness about congenital heart disease, which is uh, the most common of the congenital defects in uh, babies born. And uh, it has a very serious impact on the growth and uh, the long-term uh, uh, life of uh, these uh, children. Um, but it's satisfying to say that when treated well, they can grow up as normal citizens and uh, can contribute uh, back to the society as well as anybody else could.